this morning we find ourselves on the north side of Keswick here in the Lake District um, at the beginning of the trail to the summit of Skidor. <coughs> now Skidor is a mountain it's a hike that I've wanted to do uh, for quite a while today we get the opportunity the weather is not perfect but I was going to do this yesterday and yesterday the weather was just terrible it was just a total socked in rain day with zero visibility zero elevation to climb I mean the clouds were to the ground it was just a write-off so today we're hoping to do better so hey Gary here with Gary Clayton photography and let's set out uh, let's see if we can conquer a skiddle let's see what images we can capture today Yeah, I know this is going to be a challenge. I believe Skidor is going to be the highest mountain that I've climbed, hiked. Um, so I know it's going to be a real challenge for me. But uh, looks like we have some fresh snow. Um, and I'll just turn you around, show you where we're heading. So the trail is ahead of me going up there you don't see a uh, skid off from here um, it's simply too far and too high but it is over there or at least I think it's over there <laughs> we'll see hey let's see what images we can capture today if we can get some break in this cloud and we might then it promises uh, to reveal some beautiful views over Derwent Water, uh, Lake Bassenthwaite. Um, so yeah, the possibilities are great. The end results, well, we won't know that till the end of the day. Let's get going. Oh yeah. So very close uh, to the beginning of the trail, maybe 15 minutes in, you come across uh, this monument. This is a monument uh, to the two um, sheep. Uh, herders or shepherds if you will um, I honestly don't know the story I just know that it's a monument to the two shepherds Wow an amazing place Already some spectacular views absolutely stunning okay so the trail is pretty much straight up very 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 steep uh, pretty much right from the get-go after about 20 minutes in it just goes straight up but look at the views now to my left across Keswick Porton scale Braithwaite where I'm staying and the mountains behind. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Unfortunately, very soon, we're gonna push up into the clouds. Uh, so I have taken a few quick handheld shots of that scene, but I am hoping that these clouds are going to lift and we're gonna get some spectacular views from the summit. Let's keep going, let's see. We're set up on the tripod, a focal length of 85mm, f11, ISO 100, I'm using my Sigma 70-200, two second timer, there is my shot. Take a look at this, absolutely beautiful location today, amazing, wow, what a perfect, perfect morning beautiful okay we've set up in a vertical or portrait orientation yes a panoramic shot and this promises to be a beautiful beautiful shot hands very cold temperatures dropped a lot trying to find the shutter release there it is two second timer first shot to the right 
about a 30% overlap, two second timer, second shot. To the right, about a 30% overlap, two second timer, and all the way around we go. Absolutely amazing. I often think to myself that, you know, photography, it's kind of like magic. It really is. You press a button and the results can be amazing. It's got to be magic. Hey, take another look at what we're looking at. And you know what? If we got anything whatsoever, out of that little bit of magic. I'm gonna pop it up right now for us to look at. Wow, okay. We have got a long way to go. I could spend all day just right here in this last 100 yards, but I do want to conquer the summit or the summit conquers me. No idea. We're gonna see. Let's get going. Right now, I'm guessing, and only guessing, I could be about halfway up uh, the Skidor Mountain. There's a long fence behind me. Take a look at the ice and so on uh, that's collecting on the fence. It's absolutely beautiful. We just captured a few images of this because it's a stunning kind of thing to capture. We're very much in the clouds. Right now, uh, unless there's a few intimate type shots like the ice on the fence, there's definitely no landscape shots to be had. We're very much in the cloud. Strong winds, ice pellets, um, and as I say, maybe about halfway up. I just don't know. But this is what I'm seeing, what you're seeing too. Pretty much gray, uh, ice. Ha! Huh. You know what? <clears throat> it's quite comfortable. Why is it quite comfortable? Well, I live in Canada. <laughs> okay. We're going to carry on here. The trail, we're actually at a point where the trail splits in two and you can go to the left and to the right, but they both join up again at the end of the fence. So we're going to go to the right path uh, just for the heck of it. And that's the way we're going to go. Let's keep going. So right now, we've got behind the cairn, but we are indeed at the summit of, uh, of Skidor. So we've made it. Crazy winds, ice and snow and cold. So here we are. I made it up here today. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Okay. We've made it down from the summit of Skidor. But we're back at the bottom. Maybe a kilometer to my car. Uh, the day has been amazing. Unfortunately, at the summit, uh, the conditions were such that there was no photographic opportunities available to us except taking a shot of the uh, trick point and that was about it. Uh, but no landscape images available up there. We did capture some nice images earlier in the day uh, at the lower levels as we were ascending the mountain uh, at about a third of the way up. Before we entered into the cloud cover and the cloud layer, we did capture a few nice images of the mountains, derwent water with some nice light and snow caps on top of the mountains. So that in itself is great. Uh, so we're pretty much back where we started. Um, you know what, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. If you like what we're doing, give me a like, give me a share, leave a comment. And uh, of course, do subscribe. Let's have a look at a few images from today. And you know what? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.